design about two years ago, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, we chose it because it's a little bit different. We didn't have to worry about bending wood or springs or bungee cords or anything. It's just simply add a weight to the end of an arm and let it swing. Probably the hardest part about this is your swing here is getting the length of these strings to collect the length. If you make it too short, it's just going to shoot straight down. No, if it's too long, it shoots straight down. If it's too short, it shoots straight up. So it's kind of a guess and check there. And you also got to make sure your frame is pretty sturdy and also your mounting point up here. Because that 20 pounds hanging off of this, if it's weak, it's just going to snap right off. You destroy your frame. You don't want that to happen. So, yeah, I'm going to do it. Let's see you guys. With class as well. So how many of you are going to be doing a trebuchet weight system? Okay, so as you notice, if you look at his catapult, or I'm sorry, trebuchet here, very clean. All the cuts are clean, everything's measured well. That's the biggest thing I noticed with some of these catapults and trebuchets, is when you get a little sloppy with your cuts and your angles, that's when things don't work out as well. Now, would it made a much bigger difference if you had more weight, or do you feel you maxed um, out? Really, we did test between 10, 15, 20 pounds and up. And after about 15 pounds, it didn't see much of a difference. There was one group last year, we put 60 pounds worth of weight on their trebuchet, and they didn't get five feet. Does yours still work? Weight is another. Yeah. Bring that one up, too. Uh, all right, so I'm going to demonstrate this. So, today I want to show you a little bit of each. You're going to get a trebuchet, a ballista, and then Jonathan Deep's going to show you his catapult from last year. Actually, Jonathan gets credit for this one as well because uh, Gustavo, who's a senior, he worked on this relentlessly. He could never get it to work right. Um, Jonathan and who was it? Todd. Todd. One or two days. They just, boom, they were able to get this thing going. So, as you look, just try to get some ideas. Okay. Right. Yep. So that's, that's pretty solid there. Watch out, Kyle. That was cool. And then they, they repaired this one, so it works good now. I know. See, my camera needs the, the optical zoom. Uh, it doesn't have that. It has digital zoom while recording. If it has optical zoom, it's not recording. Uh, oh, that's not good. Now, what were what were some of the changes that you guys brought to Gustavo's here? Uh, I think we switched over to PVC limbs. We originally had wooden limbs right. on here and just a bungee cord that hardly had any power. So with the bungee cord and the limbs collecting, you get a little bit more power out of it. Anyone doing Jump. ballistas in here? Take note of that. Okay. What? Take note of it. Take note, yeah, I'm taking note of it. I still think it's rubbish. Yeah. Similar. I'm probably going to pay attention to Jonathan. Alright. Take a look at the ballista people while Jonathan's getting his ready. That's the cup that they use to load the ball. So I'd say the ballista went. Similar to your similar, yeah, not pretty similar distance. I think I would do trebuchet. Then again, if you have a more compound design, it shoots far. Now, to be fair to Jonathan Deep, he hasn't fired this since last year. So you think are you doing a Roman ballista? Roman yeah. Oh, okay. Those yeah, are like snipers, aren't they? Real ballista. Oh, <laughs> 
Cherish and the um and the ballista are good at um accuracy. Yeah, that wasn't very far. Nice catch. I think the trebuchet is the best though. Fire's pretty damn smooth. Jesus. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> 